I'm currently using. <laughs> oh, it's still recording. I'm cur <laughs> currently using a lava light lamp to light myself so it doesn't look like a dungeon. Hey everyone, this is Mr. Cullen checking in with you from my basement, aka my room, which is probably where I will be um, teaching from for the time being for the next few weeks. I just wanted to make a quick little update video to tell you uh, where I've been, what I've been up to. I have some things to tell you for the future. So what did I do over spring break? What have I been up to while I have been in core in teen? Um, well, I took some videos to show you. I walked my dog quite a bit. I went to the park near my house. Uh, the ice on the lake is melting, which means that spring is coming. I also made banana bread. <laughs> I will try to send you the recipe if you want it, or I'll put it up on Google Classroom. It is one of the easiest things to make, and I am not good at uh, baking and or cooking. Uh, but it turned out scrumptious, so... Besides that, I made a lot of music, worked on a lot of projects, and I deep cleaned everything. I first of all want to say that I miss each and every single one of you. I miss talking to you every day. Uh, I just, in general, miss going to school and having that daily routine. Oh. Teaching from my basement is not as fun as being in front of the classroom. So, uh, you're probably wondering how this is all going to work. And the main thing that you need to remember is that uh, Mrs. Williams and I are learning... Um, just as fast as you are, and we're learning just as much. It's one thing to learn everything, but it's another thing to learn it online. So um, we are in this together, and we will get through it. So as we are going along, you may see me uh, more or less. Uh, just know that I'm always here. Um, even if you don't physically see me, I'll probably be checking in on your papers, your assignments. Um updating you know google classroom so even if you see me less i'm still here and i will try to keep you posted on what i'm doing how i'm feeling with everything my thoughts and opinions on what we read or watch i will be here secondly you're probably wondering what this is this is a blue yeti microphone i've had it for six or seven years um, i use it for all of my instrumental recordings music production vocal recordings um, if someone needs a podcast, I've used it for podcasts before. Um, it's a great microphone. And the reason that I use it is so there's less feedback when I talk and you can hear me clearly because not all computers have the best speakers to listen to um, audio. So I want you to be able to hear me. Um, I know it's big. It's huge. It has a stand. Um, but just don't mind it. Just know that it makes the audio better. Oh, there's Panda. He's just about to jump off the bed. Um... Ouch. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> All right. This is pa <laughs> This is Panda. This is my dog. Um he doesn't like to be on camera. Um if you hear barking or scratching noises or I say Panda or you hear him I don't know. You're just going to hear him in the background. He likes to be in my room because it's dark and cold. 
One of the hardest things about this whole ordeal is that not everyone was able to bring their free reading book home with them. Um, we all thought that we were going to be back at school after spring break, and obviously that is not the case. Uh, so I hope that you're trying to free read or you're finding something that you enjoyed. Maybe you got a book from the library before the shutdown. Maybe you're trying to find things online or you have a magazine at home. Um, but I would encourage you to free read. Um, and keep that up because that's really, really important. I am reading something called On Emotional Intelligence. Well, the book is called On Emotional Intelligence by Harvard Business Review, and it is just a compilation of studies over the last like 30 years on emotional intelligence. Um, and that could be a whole nother video, but basically, uh, it just seems like when you treat people with kindness and respect and try to understand where they're coming from, um, especially in a business-like situation, which could also be applied to the classroom, um, people are more likely to respond, um, with a positive attitude if they are treated with kindness and respect. Um, which is also something that I wanted to say. Um, I know that things are kind of crazy right now and we're trying to distance ourselves from people. Um, but well, and you also may be going crazy with your family. I don't know. I don't know what your situation is like, but I would just encourage you to try to treat them with, uh, kindness, try to treat your friends and family with the respect. And, um, I think that's the only way that we'll get through this with any sanity. Anyway, I hope that you are doing okay. If there's anything you need to vent about or talk about or anything that Mrs. Williams and I can do, please email us. Uh, and that's a wrap. I will talk to you later. My Blue Yeti and I will talk to you later. <laughs> Bye.